Hi everyone, I'm Sun Yang, and I will present the paper "Superb Speech Processing Universal Performance Benchmark." The work is jointly organized by Professor Hong Yi Li from National Taiwan University, Professor Xinjie Watanabe from CMU, Shang Wen Li, and Abdo from Facebook. I will first give our motivation and the background of this work, and then introduce the Superb Benchmarks framework, followed by the design for each task, then the benchmark results and the conclusion. I will also quickly go through our current leaderboard website and the submission pipeline. Finally, our future work. Self-supervised learning (SSL) has become a powerful paradigm to achieve SOTA in NLP and CV. Its task-agnostic learning process makes it learn the general knowledge from data. By pre-training once, the pre-train model can utilize the general knowledge and easily adapt to many unseen tasks. There are lots of recent efforts focusing on SSL for speech. However, most of the work do not share a unified evaluation setup, making it hard to draw insight when comparing across papers. Furthermore, these efforts typically focus on ASR. Hence, we do not know whether these works can generalize to other tasks and how they compare to each other. Specifically, currently we lack a standardized evaluation benchmark for SSL in speech, which is fundamentally important to know the actual progress in this field. Hence. We present superb benchmark. We collect various speech downstream tasks ranging from content, speaker semantics to emotion, including phoneme recognition, keyword spotting, ASR, query back sample, speaker identification, verification, diarization rhization, emotion recognition, intent classification, and slot filling. Second, we collect most of the existing SSL model called upstream. Putting two components together, we present a comprehensive benchmark. Composed of each pair of upstream and downstream. Third, we open sourced all the materials in the Atripio repository. Here is an illustrative figure for Super Benchmark. Upstream models transform the raw waveform into representation, either classic acoustic features or SSL representations, like autoregressive predictive coding, Marking J, PassNet, Terra, Web2Fax series, Hubert, and more. The representations are then used in many downstream tasks. The framework aims to lower the entry point for participating, especially for academic researchers. Hence, we choose to use small prediction heights for each task and not fine-tune the upstream model, which typically requires lots of GPU for a single fine-tuning run. Furthermore, with the upstream model frozen, we can easily obtain a universal multitask speech model by concatenating all the prediction heads. To ensure a fair comparison across upstreams, we extract multiple layer hidden states from the frozen upstream model and weighted sum them for each task, which represents the best a frozen upstream can get. Here are all the ten tasks categorized into content, speaker, semantics, and emotion. Following the lightweight prediction head principle, we use linear model for some simpler task and use small nonlinear models for more difficult task like ASR. First, content has two subcategories: recognition and detection. The difference lies in whether transcribing the audio to text is necessary. For detection, the audio record typically is not as clean as recognition task. Also. The speaker can have strong accent or in low resource language, making it hard to find in-domain label data to transcribe the audio directly. Phoneme recognition is a simpler version of ASR, where phoneme is the most fine-grained unit for content and directly related to the pronunciation. We use LibreSpeech dataset, where we convert the word transcriptions into phoneme transcriptions with CalDIS graph into phoneme tool. We train the linear model on each frame of representations. With CTC loads and report the phone error rate. Compared to phoneme recognition, ASR is much harder since the model needs not only to model the pronunciation from waveform, but also convert the pronunciation into the writing format as known as graphemes. We use LibreSpeech dataset again. Since ASR is harder, we use two-layer bidirectional LSTM as the prediction head. We use characters as labels and train the model with CTC loads. We decode the model with either greedy decoding or bin search decoding with LibreSpeech foreground language model. We report the word error rate. For detection, keyword spotting is about recognizing pre-registered keywords from speech and also ignore the words not in registration list. 
the example keyword can be left, right, go, and leave. Speech command data set is widely used either in both spoken term detection papers or audio representation papers. It consists of 12 classes with 10 keywords and a silence class and an unknown class. We first mean pool representation sequence in the time axis and then project the representation into class number with a linear model. Train with cross entropy and report the accuracy. Compared to keyword spotting, query by example spoken term detection searches the query short old trends in an audio database, says a long old trends. Hence, it is about predicting whether the content of query also appear in the long old trends as a binary classification. We use Quest 14 dataset. It contains query document pairs in multiple languages. However, since our preliminary experiments shows it too hard for the current SSO pre-trained model to perform well on non-English languages, we only use the English subset of Quest 14. We run dynamic time warping DTW to produce a score for each pair of query and document, and then determine the best threshold for the final prediction, which balance the miss and force alarm in terms of maximum term weighted value, MTW fee. For each layer of hidden stat, we evaluate its performance on development set and pick the best layer to report the final score on test set. Speaker identification is also known as speaker classification, where training, development, testing set share the same speaker set. The model classifies the utterance into the correct speaker ID. We use FoxLab 1 dataset, which is a challenging dataset with more than 1,000 speakers and the utterances are collected in the wild, which means crawling from YouTube and containing lots of background noises and are recorded with very different equipments. We mean pool the representation and train the linear model on it with cross entropy loss. Accuracy is reported. Speaker verification determines whether two utterances are spoken by the same speaker. Compared to speaker identification, it is harder since speaker in the testing set will not appear in the training set. Hence, the model never sees the alterants from the testing speakers. Again, we use FoxLab1 dataset. The common setting for this task is to train with another FoxLab2 dataset, which is many times larger than FoxLab1, and also augments the alterants with noises from Musen dataset. However, both of these two datasets are very large, and we wish to test pre-trained model's capability with limited data. Hence, we consider training an ASV system with only FoxLab1 dataset. The well-known X factor is employed and trained by AMSoft Max Lost, which is a loss specifically designed for comparing two representations. We report the equal error rate. Speaker diarization rotation predicts who is speaking when for each timestamp. As the figure shows, A and B can speak at the same time. Hence, the problem can be formulated into multi-class classification for each timestamp. A label can be either only A is speaking, only B is speaking, and B are speaking simultaneously, or no one is speaking. We use LibriMix dataset, which create mixtures of signals from LibriSpeech utterances. There are two versions, mixtures of two signals and mixtures of three. We use Trend 100 subset from mixture of two in this paper. Since LibriMix is originally a dataset for speech separation, we obtain the silence versus non-silence labels via force alignment to create the multi-class speaker labels. We use one layer LSTM as the downstream model and train it with PIP loss. Finally, diarization rotation error rate is reported. Intent classification is about recognizing the intent of the old trends directly from speech, where there are predefined intent classes like open the door or turn on the light. We use Fluent Speech Command dataset, where intent classes are composed of three categories, action, object, and location. For example, I turn on the light in the living room, turn on is the action, light is the object, and living room is the location. We count a hit only when the prediction is correct for all three labels of an utterance. We mean pool the representations and train a linear model with cross entropy loss. Accuracy is reported. Slot filling predicts a sequence of semantic slot types from an utterance, like a slot type from location for a spoken word Taipei. Taipei here is known as a slot value. Both slot type and slot value are important for a spoken language understanding system to work, like an airline 
reservation system. Here we use audio SNPs dataset, which synthesizes the multi-speaker utterances for SNPs. Following the original text split in SNPs, we further split speakers for train, development, and test set. Typically, the task is accomplished by two stages. First, transcribe audio into text, and then predict slot types on the text. We try to infer the semantics from audio directly and train this task end-to-end. -end. To do this, we wrap slot values with slot types spatial tokens to form new transcriptions. And the problem is then just like an ASR. Hence, we train an ASR as before, with the only differences of encoding special tokens into transcriptions and decoding them from hypothesis. The evaluation metrics are slot type F1 and slot value character error rate. We use the more permissive character error rate instead of word error rate since the slot values are mostly named entities, which can be easily spelled wrong. The last task, Emotion Recognition, classifies all trends into layer emotion classes. We use the EmoCap dataset with four balanced classes, neutral, happy, angry, and sad, where the excited class is merged into the happy class. EmoCap dataset contains scripted and improvised version, and we use both. Again, for this all trends level classification, we first mean pool representation and train a linear model with cross entropy loads. Unweighted accuracy after 5 volt cross validation is reported, where each session in EmoCap can be held outside while the data in the remaining sessions are split into trend and development set. Finally, after going through all the task design, let's revisit the big picture of superb framework. For each task, we append a lightweight downstream prediction head, either just linear models or simple LSTM to serve the task. We only fine-tune the prediction has to easily obtain a universal model handling many speech processing tasks. Here are our results for all pairs of upstream and downstream. We can see that SSL representations are better than a classic F-Bank in many tasks. However, there are still exceptions, colored in red, especially for speaker verification and diarization. Only half of the SSL models colored in green are able to beat F-Bank in all tasks. Hence, it is non-trivial for SSL to outperform classic features in terms of generalizability. On the other hand, Web2 Fact2 and Hubert outperform all others by a large margin, demonstrating the possibility to portray more powerful and general models. In conclusion, Superb provides a platform to test the model's generalizability across speech tasks with many downstream tasks, many SSL pre-trained models, reproducible scripts, baseline numbers, and an online leaderboard. We welcome researchers to submit new results to our online leaderboard. Here is a brief navigation through our leaderboard website, the landing page, and uh, some useful links, the task definition, and the rules for the submissions. And here is the leaderboard containing all the results. And you can toggle a task to choose which task you want to show on the leaderboard, or you can also rank the task importance. And before you submit, you need to first log in, like this. After logging, you can see all your previous submissions in your profile page, and you can choose one submission to show on the leaderboard. To submit new results, First, you need to fill your model information like this. And then you select the prediction zip file here, containing all the prediction files for each task whose format is described in the atrpir repository. Okay. And after you, after you upload, the backend server will calculate the metrics and show the results on your profile page. And this one is our latest submission, and you can show it on the leaderboard. OK. For the future work, first, we are adding more speech processing tasks to evaluate generalizability more comprehensively. We are also preparing the submission system with talking face to enable functioning on submission, where people only submit the pre-trained model instead of the downstream prediction files and we do the downstream fine-tuning. This further ensures the fairness. Third, we are collecting hidden data set with LXT to prevent overfitting on public test set. Thanks for listening and look forward to the new results.